Good day to everyone watching this and welcome to episode 17 of my West Ham FM 15 career and of course we're in the third season now I'm going to be playing Real Sociedad away from home in the Euro Cup in this match and it's been going rather well this season in fact as you can see from the top we're actually third in the Premiership which is crazy and we've got a game in hand meaning if we win that we go top we've got Man City next in the next league game so that is a huge game but we really could be challenging for Champions League places and maybe being a bit optimistic with the title but you never know because we've got a very good team as you can see everyone's playing very well uh, Sorg's been inc incredibly good in the few games he's played Downing has been phenomenal seven assists from that central midfield position he's been a revelation just like in real life in I guess the first season he hasn't quite done that in the first two seasons he's been good but not amazing but this third season He's got older, he's got a bit slower, his vision is very good though with that 18. So he's just getting so many assists from that central midfield position as a fire engine goes by. Something crazy loud that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, oh, he's been amazing. He's not going to be playing this game, I'll give him a bit of a rest. But he's played the majority of games, in fact he's started more games than anyone else. He's really been very good. Goals wise, we've had... Zerate doing very well. He always gets off to the, a very good start to the season. Seven goals in 11 games. Actually, he's started the most games. One more than Downing. And then the goals have really been shared between Valencia, Ing, Sacco. Zulu's got two. South African's been very solid at the back. Morrison and Vargas also have two. Vargas has got off to a bit of a slow start, hoping that he improves. Um, but yeah, magnificent uh, matches from my team apart from a couple of blips so since that game against Villa in the last video we beat Mould or Molde, Mould, Mould I don't know how to pronounce it properly we beat them 1-0 in our first Euro Cup Group F game with Sacco getting the winner 3-0 win against Palace couple, a goal from Zerati and Canales and then an own goal I think that was Canales' Canales Canales his first goal for the club then a very disappointing defeat against Sheffield United on penalties one of our rivals uh, since um, the Tevez saga a few years ago uh, but Sacco did get a g another goal in that game but very disappointing to lose that not the end of the world as you can see our attendances haven't been brilliant considering we're in the, in the Olympic Stadium now but that's not too bad for a Capital One Cup game but I mean at home to Hull in the Premier League only 36,000 that is disappointing only a, like a thousand more than we could get up to Park which is embarrassing. 3-1 uh, win against Hull though. Zulu Hernandez getting his first goal, which we'll have a look at. Because it was an absolute stonker. He's not been very good other than this. He doesn't really suit my style of play, I don't think. He really is just a, a poacher. Can't really dribble, which is why he doesn't really work effectively up front in that three, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to have him. Uh, I'm going to play him against Real Sociedad. See how he does. And we won 1-0 again in the Euro Cup. 1-0. Oh, I've said that already. <laughs> From Tompkins, the goal. And then a, a good 4-2 win against Derby. We've not had the, the toughest start to the season, I guess, apart from that Chelsea defeat. We did beat Arsenal, of course, on the first day. But um, Downing with a goal. 9.0 performance. It's been fantastic. Uh, Crane, Vita, Valencia and Sacco. And then a 3-0 win against Norwich just now. Valencia, Zarate and Ings with goals. Downing got another assist. And Fuchs with two fantastic assists from left back. He's obviously not playing all the games now because um, Douglas Costa, Douglas Santos is a fantastic left back as well. So I will be alternating them. A bit like Ivan and Sorg will be alternating. But I've gone with Douglas Santos and Ivan in this game as the fullback. Zarate, Valencia and Hernandez up front. See how he does on the right-hand side as an advanced forward. Downing giving him a rest, Canales and Tillemans in midfield, Crane Vitter. Noble hasn't been fantastic, he's had an injury at the start of the season, reason why he hasn't played too many games. Uh, Roberts has of course scored one goal, I think I'd already said that, oh, I don't know, when did he score that goal? I can't actually remember, but anyway, um, he's young and on some of the games I've holidayed into the future he has become a wonder kid, in fact... In a future video I'm going to upload at some point. Or maybe I've already uploaded it. I don't know. It depends when these videos uh, go up. I'm trying to create a backlog. Especially for over the Christmas period when I will be busy. But um, this should be up well before then. 
what was I going to say? Ah, yes, Robert's big one World Player of the Year. I think at the age of twenty nine thirty. So, uh, yeah, he's a very good player on the game. I just need to hope he develops well on this save as well, because he costs quite a bit of money. So I really want him to to do well. Real Sociedad, of course, a very good team. I think Allen's quite a good midfielder, from what I remember. Looks quite good. Um, but yeah, of course, Canales used to play for Real Sociedad, so he's come back to his old stomping ground. And we got to hope that he performs well in that advanced playmaker position. He's got a goal and two assists. He's had a decent start to his West Ham career. 7.03 average rating. He's a very good midfielder. And we have to hope Zerate continues. I'm going to do it on 2D, of course, like I do usually with the West Ham save. Uh, because it can be a, a bit laggy otherwise. Um, anyway, Telemans he's passed it back to Crane Vita. I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you for all the support. I've really enjoyed playing with West Ham. Of course, they are the team that I support. And Hernandez has scored on the rebound. Fantastic. Second goal of the season. It's worked well there. Um, but yeah, it's 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 taken a bit of time to really build up steam. Of course, I finished 8th, then 6th, which is decent, considering I've seen West Ham get relegated on plenty of games I've holidayed. I think on the Rotherham save I, I'm doing, they got relegated, and they're having to play in the Olympic Stadium in the Championship, which is just a bit embarrassing. Canales, Tillemans blocked. Ah, oh, unlucky, guys. We're already 1-0 up. We're going to go counter now because we are obviously away from home, which can be a bit trickier. Tillemans loses the ball there, which isn't good. Come on, guys. Get back at him. Good ball in, Zulu. Solid header. He's very good at heading. But they're through here, and they've scored. That was that was quite poor, actually. We le left him alone there. I think that was Ivan leaving him alone. Just gone to counter as well. <laughs> so I think I might go back to attacking in the second half. I'll leave it at this for now. Close down, guys. Come on. Win it, Douglas Santos. Get in there. Nope. Alan. There's so much space. They're, they're playing really wide, aren't they? Tackle him. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to go over Lielli's head then. Playing Lielli in this game. Kuhn and Lielli will be alternating quite a lot. Some people don't like to do that with keepers, but I don't mind so much. They're both quite equally um, talented. And Lielli is, of course, quite young, so I want to develop him. Kuhn's about 30, I think, but he's a very, very good keeper. Hernandez heads away well there. <laughs> Valencia, run, lad. Run. Use your pace. Bursting down the wing. Can we get a goal at the end, Zarate? Can he squeeze it in? No. Good tackle by Camacho. And Zarate's a bit tired, so I think I'll bring him off. Valencia's not played so well in that position, so been unlucky. I always use this in videos, don't I? I don't actually use it that often. It just happens to be in videos when I use it. So I'm going to bring on Vargas for Zarate and play Valencia as the... Actually, we'll stick it. We'll keep it at that and hopefully Valencia can have a better second half. And I'm going to swap these two round. See if that makes a difference. Can I as a roaming playmaker? Oh no. Free kick at the start. Head it away, guys. Oh, no, it's gone in. Liali just pushed it into the danger zone. It's not the end of the world if we lose this game because we should beat the other two teams comfortably and progress to the second round, is it? Or first qualifying round? Headed away there, even. Come on, lad. Oh, lovely ball to Tillemans. Back to Canales. Into Vargas. And that was awful. That really was an awful finish from him. And Evans injured. He's had a good game so far, but from that first goal. Maybe it wasn't his mistake. I think I'll have to bring Fuchs on to play it right back. Yeah. Does Douglas Santos play better there? Hmm. I think I'll play Douglas Santos right back because Fuchs is so deadly from that left. He might actually grab a goal. Do we go more direct? Do I keep faith with this tactic for a bit longer? I think I will. Come on, guys. Let's get back into this. Valencia's not playing very well. Nice ball into Hernandez. Cross it in. Penalty. Who's going to take it? Hernandez, maybe? 
Oh, he's been sent off for a second yellow. This really is a good opportunity. So, come on, Hernandez. Is it Hernandez? Let's see. I think he's number 14. It's taken ages. Of course, we've got the other assistant on the pitch. And yes, good goal. Do they actually stand there for penalties, the fifth official? So there we go. A uh, good penalty from Hernandez and his second goal of the game. So lovely stuff. Keeper couldn't quite reach it despite going the right way. Oh no, a free kick. Blocked. Get it away, guys. Get it away. Good tackle, Douglas Santos. Play it down the wing quick. No. If only I had put it on direct football, they would have blasted it up the pitch and would have been through. The alley dribbling out. Vargas wins it. Tillemans. Always a good runner up of the ball. Vargas back all the way to Zulu. It's an enjoyable match to watch this. This tactic does produce some goals. Can produce goals for the other team though. Oh, 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 oh ah, close. <laughs> so close. Lovely ball from... Is Santos actually right footed? I haven't actually checked. Okay, we need to make a last substitute. I think I'll bring Valencia off. I may give... Um, Let's see. No, he is left-footed. He just had a very good cross there. We we'll bring. We we'll br oh, I don't know. Canales is a bit tired. I think I'll bring Canales off. Bring on Noble and play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what this does. We of course are upper man so we should be trying to win this game now which is why I've kept it on attacking I always get this a gap between midfield and attack is too big I know it is but it seems to work reasonably well Tillemans free kick ah oh, saved it was not brilliant got it on target but um, couldn't beat the keeper unfortunately there's quite a lot of goals from free kicks on FM so you sort of why is Fuchs at centre back you sort of um, are always hopeful that they can score from a direct free kick. Valencia, come on. Into Vargas. Vargas, he scored. Ah, oh, the hero from last season. Fantastic. Now we need to just calm it down. Go a bit structured, see if this does anything. Go to standard. Be a bit more disciplined. No, we can't take... Oh, no, not take a breather. Definitely not. Close down. Just need to keep hold of possession. Lovely goal from uh, Vargas there. And good play from Valencia. Ah, brilliant. Excellent game. Still had a lot to do from that position. Took it round his man and then a fantastic left foot finish. Charged off into the corner flag. Ah, brilliant stuff. Taking advantage of the extra man. Surely this is the end. Yep, it is. Hernandez. With two goals, Vargas with his third of the season, which means all my strikers have three goals. Apart from, well, Patrick Roberts isn't really a striker, he's more of a wing. I'm trying to train him up in various positions, make him quite versatile. So, man of the match was Hernandez. Good stuff, guys. Ah, fantastic. We're top of the group of nine points. Real Sociedad are actually behind Metalist. And, yeah. Ivan's out for four weeks, unfortunately. But um, not to matter. We've got Sorg, of course, who's had a fantastic season so far. <sighs> I'm really enjoying this save now. I'm just enjoying it more than ever. I haven't played it that much lately because I've been doing other videos. And, um, yeah, I'm sort of recording a backlog of videos. So although this may only go up you know, a few days after the, the last episode, it's quite a while since I recorded episode 16. But thank you for watching. Please leave a like for my fantastic win. And check out episode 18 when it's out, which I don't know when it will be. But And I don't know who we'll be playing. I think I would do the last Euro Cup game against Metalist to see where we finish in the group. And hopefully we can keep this run, winning run going. Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham. Three tough games in the league, which could define our season. It will either mean we're pushing for maybe a Europa League place if we lose those games. Or if we win, we really could be challenging for the title. So wish me luck. And I shall see you in the next episode. See you guys.